other one. I was just having a bit of a nostalgic moment recently, right? Smosh, come back. All the original creators have been away. Ian Hecox and Anthony Badia have uh, bought Smosh. Uh, hey, that leads me to think like old creators that he's gone, like. For instance, people like Joe Sargent and Casper Lee and all that fun stuff. Like, that's people I watched and a little bit of that stuff. And then some of that was a bit, a bit, it was interesting at the start, a little bit boring, I guess. You watch enough of the same content over and over again. And then you get to a point of boredom and the people get burnt out and like people make the same content. Don't change so they you see this doing it because they're making money from it and people will watch it for, for, for a while and then the want of watching the same video over and over again dries up there's no change at all. And so and yeah they made a change. And now now they brought back from Mythical productions, which bought it from, from, saved them from the far media. And I'm kind of happy because they, they promised that they're going to make new and exciting content, which is kind of similar to what they made before. And they're in control. So it's good in one way, but bad in the other. So I was watching the, I did a long form. What's it called? Podcast about what I'm doing for the editor anyway, with Ian on this channel. And they talk about how they fell apart as friends and how their life was brought together one of the other friends. Yeah. I thought, shit. <laughs> um, I want to make a video. I'd, I'd sort of pop up and I was like, oh. Nostalgia and uh, other people, YouTubers have gone like, uh, what was it? Fucking like, um, Gudrun Daniel, him and KSI. The only reason Gudrun Daniel got views was from KSI. <laughs> uh, you can say Harry's channel's gone. He only makes a video once in a while, for sure. And so he's, he posts maybe once, once, twice a year, and so he's usually a the video. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you, you just forget about people every while. Like, once they disappear out of like the UK field, of, like making YouTube videos and stuff, you get people like replace them with like the beta, beta squad. Um, you got, uh, it's, it's, it's someone's made, has it made? YouTube videos per se is Kellux. He, he likes being in other people's videos, but he's like making his videos as much as like he used to. He used to be like a big YouTuber, then he made launch No Two Ways. Also, he says all that crypto stuff is on the side. He made enough money there to be a bit of life. What's the KSI? He made KSI, I think, a bit of money. And then KSI was like, oh, here's a million dollars. You can keep that. I'm like, imagine giving your friend a million dollars. You can. I think as I put it all into Lunar and lost it. <laughs> he lost millions of dollars. That was that was that hit me hard. That lost me eight thousand dollars in his own. Or nine thousand dollars. Or the lot Didn't help that that and Naga and stuff went down. And you just think Life different, how life was different back then. All back a couple of years ago, like five, five, six, six years ago, five, five years ago. And I started my investing journey. I could have been investing my money, wouldn't be to have the same passion power, but I would still have it. I reckon I'd have like 65, 70k right now, which is a lesson learned. I was a very hard lesson. I looked at my Kiwi server the other day. 28k. The time I looked at it before, it's about halfway through last year, it was like 33. 
thought they were really amazing and then it's gone down. I thought it was in the growth front, so. Am I a little worried? A little bit of time on my side, sure I do. Um, yeah. Nostalgia is a good thing for some stuff. Good for audience retention and stuff, and as long as you make good content. But it's bad for other stuff, like remembering how you had all your money and how you lose all from being a poo. Yeah. YouTube has changed. I have changed a lot. It almost feels like I'm throwing money down, <laughs> down a hallway, inspecting a result, and sometimes it works. But at the moment, I've lost fucking two, uh, 186 bucks on one account, 186 dollars on one account, 16 on another. But one of my other accounts is making money, so I'm like, I just need it to go semi all right. And I'll be back to be absolutely taking the people's heads off. People ask why I'm happy sometimes, like what happened looking to share wounds. I'm like, because if I look back at myself, I was I used to worry about how my face looks like, how my hair looks like, and I'm like, eh, it's all right. I also want to cut my beard off, and I'm like, the only reason I have it is because I've been looking at my face not being square, see? This is the middle of my face, about here, well, this is my lowest lines up. This bit is rounder than this side. This bit. Indented, like an indent right there. My face is not square. This side's longer. Oh, that side's longer. So, yeah. And it's always bothered bob me. Why well, I have a beard. That's why. Tells you about how I looked before. Anything I, 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 I miss is having us actually being able to see flat chest, but having an extra 15 kgs sitting on my fucking belly. But I digress. Thank you guys for watching this episode of the Token Morning. I know it's not the best video quality. I know my forehead it always shines on the, the LED light, ring light behind my screen. I know you need a better camera, but uh, probably be end of this year before that happens. So, goodbye.